Hi, my name is Harriet, and I'm on a new adventure in the United States of America. It took a while to figure out exactly where I was going, but I can't wait to share my journey with you. Today I'm visiting Florida. At this point in the trip, I was pretty tired, so there's not going to be very much in the way of, you know, comments on the videos, but uh, here we are. We just rode some banshees. Yes, we did. It was great. It was awesome. You could feel it breathing between my legs. <laughs> <laughs> and it smells of mud. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just like all the other theme parks in Disney, Animal Kingdom is split up into various pieces. This one, I just moved from Pandora to Africa. Good morning! 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 Good bit was actually a lot of fun uh, unfortunately though I didn't quite catch a lot of footage but you'll be able to see what I did. Smallest of the rhinos, they weigh about 3,000 pounds. Now that does seem quite large to you, but for them, it's pretty small. They do roll around in mud as you can see some of that on them. But the larger white birds, they do have a pink back, that's how I get, they get their names, and their wingspan is about the same as the saddle belt stork, seven to nine feet. The sable antelope. They are very brave. They're always going to fight back rather than run away. Stand their ground using those horns of theirs for protection. By looking at their nose, one of my favorite facts about the zebras is that within a group, they're called a dazzle. Their stripes essentially blend together when they're very closely in a group. Kind of dazzle, making it harder for predators to find just one within a group. It confuses them. So that's why. Zebras are 
Oh my gosh. Run, it's pretty silly. Okay, okay, okay. And they can run about 35 miles per hour. There's one female in charge of the whole group, the matriarch, bless you. Oh, they are usually the oldest and the wisest. Elephants are very intelligent, uh, but the matriarch, they have to know where the next migration pattern is, where they can find water, and where their next food source is. actually hear that we're about five miles away. The ladies are like, let me sleep. <laughs> as well as to build their burrows. Little ones are going to stay with their mom until they're about three years old. That's when they're adults. Grannies have really good hearing. As you can see, they're kind of moving their ears. Oh, drink your water. My name is Amber. It was a pleasure being your guide today. Have a great rest of your day here at Animal Kingdom. Oof. That was a lot of animals. The tree was in the middle of every exhibit, but we're heading to Asia next. I don't remember exactly what this next section was called, but dinosaurs. <laughs> So many compliments today. Divorced, beheaded, died. Mm.
I got a bit soaked. Wet. We are absolutely wet. <laughs> All right. I wish I'd been able to record any of this show, but uh, unfortunately you'll just have to make do with seeing what the stage looks like. Sorry guys. Okay, maybe one more ride. <laughs> Emily's fifth. Emily's fifth ride. After a bit of a rest, we headed off to our reservation.
Oh my god, so much food! And there's still more to come! Ugh. And we still have dessert to go. And this is what will defeat us. That pineapple bread, whatever it was, I think it may have killed me. Oh dear. That was the most Thank delicious you. thing in the world! <laughs> Back to the flat to watch Mando. For now. Good night, Disney.